Hello guys, um, it's been a while since my last video, so uh, I decided to make a nice little video for you guys. Um, this time around I'm going to teach you how to make a World of Warcraft game server. Um, I'm particularly not a very World of Warcraft fan, I've never played the, the, the World of Warcraft game online. Um, I my only experience in Warcraft um, was the Warcraft Orcs and Humans, which was a game uh, pretty old for the US game uh, game library, and um, I remember I had it as a uh, when I was a kid, um, and I remember the game came in in floppy disks. Um, obviously now World Warcraft is a completely new game. Um, but this time around I'm going to teach you how to make your own server if you want to just play around, mess around with within your own server, be the game master, um, you know, fuck around the, that, that, that game. So, um, this, is, this video is going to take part into a series of three videos. Uh, in this one I'm going to teach you how to make the Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft uh, server. Um, next, I'm going to teach you how to make a Moonline server, and also I'm going to teach you uh, later how to make a Lineage 2 server. So, uh, this is the first video in the, in the series, in the little series that I'm going to make. Um, so, essentially, you have to download two things. Uh, obviously, the server files, and then again, the client files. Uh, obviously, the client is going to be very heavy, probably like... Um, uh, the download is going to be like 11 gigs and um, the server files are going to be like uh, 2 gigs or something so once you download them I'm going to leave, leave the links in the description um, you're gonna, you are gonna you will have two folders the first folder with the, with the private server uh, files it's going to be in Spanish the, the folder uh, here you're going to have these um, these files and then the, you 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 will have the client folder, which is gonna be something like this. So uh, once you have those two folders, just um, it, it, this this procedure is very simple. It's it, War, War, Warcraft uh, is gonna be probably the easiest um, server to mount if you compare it to Moo Online or Lineage. So it's very straightforward. Uh, once you download the server files, you just want to go to um, just gonna go to server folder and then fire up Apache. Um, then just press an, a, any key and then open my SQL. So you just uh, want to leave that window open, allow access, just to allow the firewall. And once you've done, just minimize that. Don't close it, minimize it. I'm going to go to core folder, and once you're in the core folder, you're going to open up the OAuth server, the authorization server, allow access. Also, you want to leave this window open, so you just minimize it. And uh, lastly, but not least, you want to open the world server. <sighs> you want to uh, uh, stand by a little. Uh, you will hear kind of a click, of uh, the classic window click, uh, meaning the server is opened. Um, this version of Warcraft is called the Cataclysm 4.3.4, so uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's one of the most uh, recent um, versions of the game. Um, so, uh, yeah, allow access. And once we got all those three things running, we are ready to go, essentially. Um, now, um, this server is set up uh, to work in a LAN. So this, this server is going to work only in your computer because the IP is, um, is programmed just to work with the 127.00.1 IP. So keep in mind that. You can always change that. I remember where you 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 could change that. I think in, in this file and maybe in this file, somewhere in here you can change the IP if you want to mount the server in the internet. And now we're gonna uh, make some changes in the client. So you want to open up the client and go to data folder, and then we go. You want to go to 
uh, English GB or something like that. Open that. Just gonna open up Notepad. Once you open up Notepad, you just wanna open Realm List. What the fuck? So <laughs> I don't know what that means. So um, once you open that, you wanna put these um, these two lines. Um, with your IP, with the IP of the server. In this case, the IP of the server is going to be this, but if you just change your your server into an internet configuration, uh, you want to put the internet, um, the internet IP, the external IP. So uh, you just want to save it and keep this file in here. So the client's going to be connect to the to the server itself. So once you've done that, the you're essentially you're basically good to go. Um, as a default, the server is going to have the admin account. The admin account is going to be admin admin. The username is going to be admin, and the password is going to be admin. Um, if you want to create an, 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 um, other accounts, if you want to create some accounts for your for friends or whatever you want to play the, the server with, uh, it's very simple. I have it, I have it here. Um, just as a reminder. So, if you want to create a, create an, uh, an, uh, a, a number of, of uh, new accounts, you're just going to open the world server executable that we just opened in a minute. Um, then we're just going to type uh, dot account create. Then the name of the of the of the account, maybe tutorial. It's gonna be the name. Uh, I think it's gonna be tutorial. Uh, let's then just space and then the password is gonna be one two three four five six. So uh, once you've done that, um, just press enter. So there you wanna see account created, tutorial. Um, if you want to change the privileges of the account, you just want to type uh, point account um, set GM level, then the name of the account, in this case tutorial, and after that, uh, I don't know, free one, whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to do that just now. Um, so basically, that's the way to create your own um, your own accounts if you want to create new. So uh, once we've done that, it's basically that. That's basically it. There's no different things you you want to do. We're basically done. So once the server is up and running, you just want to enter your own server. So um, let's see if it works.
The past few years have seen unprecedented So yeah, um, that was it. As you can notice, we entered the server with no problems whatsoever. So um, I hope you liked it. I hope you like uh, you had fun with this. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Probably the next two videos are gonna be about Lineage 2 creation and Moon Online. Have a good one.